This documentary is funded by the Star Ghana Foundation with support from Media General. According to the Ghana Health Service, more than 555,000 plus, that is half a million teenagers, got pregnant between 2016 and 2020, with some of them being under 10 years old. This figure is whooping 18% of Ghana's population growth over the last five years. The 2023 Demographic and Health Survey report revealed that nearly one in every four girls aged 15 to 19 in Ghana has experienced pregnancy. Most metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies have suffered the brunt of teenage pregnancy over the last decade. Since 2016, the East Gonja municipality in the Savannah region witnessed an increase in teenage pregnancy cases among school girls. What she's basically saying is that she's a Form 2 student of the Kalandi Press Virginia High School. Um, she got pregnant and was asked by her teachers not to come to school again. So for the past three months, she has been at home and the only thing she does is to accompany her parents to the farm or um, always at home doing nothing. For her, she would love to go back to school, uh, but because she has been asked not to come, she cannot go by herself until she's called by her teachers to return. Data from the Girl Child Unit of the Municipal Education Directorate of the Ghana Education Service in 2021 showed an upward trend. In East Gonja, the issue of teenage pregnancy is on the increase or on the ascendancy. We have even children in primary school becoming pregnant. For JHS yet, we can't mention. Fresh data from the Municipal Health Directorate is even scarier. Statistics from 2021, the total number of pregnant women we saw that year was 4,145. Those who were pregnant as at the age, between the age of 10 to 14 years, were 11. When we move to those who fell between the ages of 15 to 19, we have 505 of them being pregnant. In 2022, the total registrants we have is 4,260. Those that fell between the ages of 10 to 14 years were 17. Then when we look at the ages of um, 15 to 19, we have 510. To 2023, we registered a total number of 3,952 pregnant women in East Gonja. Between the ages of 10 to 14 years, we have 22 of them becoming pregnant. Then from 15 to 19 years, we have 474 becoming pregnant. Why are we doing this? We want us to see the picture in our municipality. A town hall meeting funded by the Star Ghana Foundation and supported by Media General provided a platform to share evidence of teenage pregnancy and girls' re-entry in the East Gonja municipality. Stakeholders were outraged about the troubling statistics on teenage pregnancy. Uh, the figure that uh, the health directorate gave and our education directorate, these are very scary. They say from 16 years, if a child becomes, a girl becomes pregnant, it is not a, a case for them. The law recognizes that. Then with GES policies, we don't accept that. We say from 10 or 9 to 19 years. So how do we close this gap so that we don't have this disparity? Where we will need the security services to support us when it comes to the gay child. East Gonja Municipal Director of Education, Christina Mabu Dozen, is worried most of the pregnant girls drop out from school, a situation that has implications for the re-entry policy by the Ghana Education Service. 
in order to make much gains in the implementation of the GS re-entry policy in East Gwenda, we need to provide resources to the girl child coordinator and the guidance and counseling coordinator to visit schools and to communities on a back to school campaign to sensitize the populace on the GS re-entry policy and measures to prevent teenage pregnancy in East Gwenda. Majority of our inhabitants in East Gwenda are unaware of, poli of the policy and hence resources could be made available for media engagement on the subject matter. She called for an overhaul of the school management committees in order to respond to the challenges of girls' education. Most of our SMCs are dormant. Some are actually collapsed. So what we will do is that we will have to reconstitute most of our SMCs. That is, if you look at uh, our code of conduct, the SMC is even more powerful than the, PA, uh, the PTA. And so we will reconstitute most of our SMCs. They, it involves a lot of opinion leaders so that we can engage with them on these issues. Member of Parliament for Salaga South constituency, Haji Azuera Ibrahima, appealed to government to intensify the fight against teenage pregnancy. Of 2020, that declared East Gonja municipality as the poorest in the whole country. This municipality, I haven't seen another report yet, but the one I saw, that was done in 2020, listed the East Gonja municipality as the poorest in the country. Because if 14 year olds, 15 year olds are getting pregnant, having babies, burdening themselves, burdening their they are, they are families. How are we going to break the poverty cycle? All of us are stakeholders in this municipality have a huge task ahead. And that is why I went back, I kept commending Media General and Star Ghana. We need these opportunities to be able to speak the truth and the reality to ourselves. For traditional authorities and the security services, bylaws must be enacted to deal with the growing menace. Oh, it's a good thing to copy. I think it has been a concern in the palace about the declining education trend. Police will also put to our duty bearers if we know where we can access fund to start it operational. Because it's a great concern that we also want at least we should get resident engineers and resident doctors in our municipality. But without education, we cannot do that. Our laws actually uh, encourage teenage pregnancies. Because if you read all these things, it's clear. You are telling the girl child that when she's 15 years, she can have sexual intercourse. And if you have sexual intercourse, what happens? With the consent of the girl, you can't do the girl anything. It's only one is under 16 and it's reported to the police. That is where we will act, arrest the person, conduct investigation and others. Access to quality education and lifelong learning for all is one of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals achievable by 2030. Target 3.7 seeks to ensure universal access to sexual and reproductive health care services, including for family planning, information and education, and the integration of reproductive health into national strategies and programs. The East Gonja Municipal Assembly and the relevant stakeholders remain committed to address gaps hindering girls' education in the municipality. I am here today to encourage uh, the stakeholders, the municipal parents, teachers, to encourage girls to get more involved in volleyball, handball, football. These things does not hurt your child. It helps them mentally and it helps them physically. I think we need to commit time to sit down as stakeholders and come out with actionable points that we can present to aid us to resolve this. It's not a one person or one institution effort. It calls for the collaboration 
of everybody, including me. The only thing is, we also carry this message to the traditional authority because Pembeura, for instance, is trying to liaise with the education director and the municipal chief executive to open a forum like this. They will invite the teachers, the parents, and the students, maybe to educate them much about these uh, issues, concerning this, their attitude, their performance, and this teenage pregnancy. Christopher Mwako, TV3 News, Salaga. This documentary is funded by the Star Ghana Foundation with support from Media General.